on YouTube. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. All right, how do we want to start this video? For a good couple of decades now, there's been a growing anti-Microsoft sentiment out there in the marketplace. That anti-Microsoft sentiment grew even further when Microsoft bought out Windows 10. Now, I'm not just talking about the anti-Microsoft sentiment from the home PC and workstation point of view. We can go all the way up to the big end of town, the big supercomputers, the big data centers of the world. Now, in some cases, some people take that anti-Microsoft sentiment further than just Windows-based as well. They'll avoid everything Microsoft. Now, admittedly, old mate, as we know, yes, my main PC, the daily driver, the computer that does my everything, all my pro audio work, all my video work, so on and so forth, is Windows 10. Yeah, okay, I'm a hypocrite. Fine. Deal with it. To balance it out, though, what you need to remember is, this is the only Windows machine I have in the house. Everything else is Linux. PCs, Macs even the servers, are running some form of Linux. So it balances it out. Some people, though, have a greater anti-Microsoft sentiment than even old mate and will avoid everything Microsoft. Well, that's not necessarily true from old mate's point of view. I love their wireless keyboard 1.1s. I absolutely love these keyboards. I always have. Not only that, I don't mind the wired version of this either. Remember this? This is the one that I got to replace the one that broke. Well, now this one, in the space of 12 months, has also given up the ghost. I need to figure out why, and also figure out, can we make one working wireless 1.1 keyboard from Microsoft from two of them that I now have? The theory also is, maybe it's not the keyboard. It actually could be the transceiver that's packed up as well. It's troubleshooting time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for a Tuesday. And for this one, I want to try and figure out what the hell's broken on this and or can I make one working Microsoft keyboard out of two of them? I damn well hope so. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Troubleshooting time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for Tuesdays. And uh, now that board stopped. Now, keyboard, let me just pick it up again. This keyboard's no longer responding. I don't know what's happened to it. <laughs> um, what I want to try and do, if I can, and you can start to see, the, the, this keyboard, these keyboards get a hammering out of me. Um, because they're always being used, you know. I love them, and um, they're not—they're nice. Not only are they a nice big keyboard, but they—they they sound good. What's happened is this keyboard's now stopped responding, and um, I don't know why. So I don't know if we've got, you know, maybe a battery connection issue. Maybe it's not connecting properly, or. So I don't think you're going to be able to see it. There it is. Or oh, this is up the spout. Now, the stupid thing here is, is that the mouse works, right? The keyboard's not responding. The other kicker is, and this is where I'm starting to get a little bit hazy in the whole scenario. This junky, cheap, I don't even know what this is. This is another one of these. Chinese junk, crap, rubbishy keyboards that I don't like. Right, you're probably looking at saying, "Old oh, man, it's exactly the same." No, it's not. Deal with it. Um, that crappy keyboard, which is all I've got in here at the moment, unless I want to go out and get my wired or a similar wired version to the one point one. Um. I hate that keyboard. You know, the backspace is so small, the delete keys are small. Just, it's generally just garbage. Now, 
the kicker with this is is that if this keyboard's plugged in, the 1.1 responds. It could be the transceiver, although I doubt it. I may have a spare transceiver lying about, and if so, hopefully, I think it's one of the ones that's USB and PS2, and I'm hoping that it might end up responding to uh, the USB function only, and then the keyboard will work. But what I want to try and make sure is that there's nothing wrong with it, and I also want to try and see whether or not we can get the old keyboard, which I know is matched to that wireless transceiver, and get it going, hopefully, and um, see if I can't get it to work that way. Um, so that's that's the goal of today. We're going to try and figure out what's gone wrong with my beloved Microsoft 1.1 keyboard. Um, I know there's a lot of anti-Microsoft sentiment out there, and, you know, people will do anything they can to avoid dealing with anything Microsoft. Yeah, okay, fine. But, you know, like I said, I mean, you know, my main PC that has got everything on it. Right, it's the only Windows machine I have in the house. Okay, literally the only Windows machine I have in the house. That's balanced out by every other server, laptop, and PC here running Linux of some sort, be it VMware, be it, unfortunately, Ubuntu for QStore, or be it MX, Debian, Open Man Driver. So, you know, it balances us out. Every single other machine in the house is Linux and one Windows rig. It sort of balances it out. All right, let me grab the video camera, grab the tripod. Let's try and see what's going on with these two keyboards and see if I can't get one working Microsoft 1.1 keyboard out of two. Let's get into it. Uh, on second thoughts, before we get to pulling apart keyboards and trying to figure out if we can make one out of two, I just found another one of these 1.1 transceivers for the keyboard and mouse. How about we take the easy option first. Let's swap these transceivers over and let's see whether or not the keyboard responds properly. There's a high possibility I'm going to have to try and um, reconnect them to this one. But it's worth a shot. Let's take the easy option first. All right, first thing to do, get that crappy keyboard out of there. I'm going to need the tripod to do this so you guys don't end up watching me just do this for the next God only knows how long. Let me get the tripod out and... Uh, and we'll pull the computer out of its little cubby hole there and uh, fit this new mouse, or new transceiver. All right. Well, let's pull this out for a minute and make sure that I actually do get the right USB lead, which I think should be that one. I hope. No, it's not. That's it's that one. All right, so we have dead transceiver or what we think is a dead transceiver. Let's get our new one. Just make sure that plug's not bent or cracked or broken. And it goes... USB ports on this motherboard of mine to sink a ship. Alright, so for testing purposes only, let's just see whether or not. Okay, the computer's detected a new wireless keyboard and mouse. So let's go back to the main PC. And see what happens with this. With the, I know the mouse still works. It's the keyboard that's the problem. So let's see how long the keyboard continues to go. So I'll get my old USB keyboard. This thing's a piece of junk. Chinese garbage. <laughs> All right. So for testing purposes, I'm just going to leave this hanging here and uh, leave the transceiver and its transceivers up here. So let's go back to the main PC and let's see what happens. 
All right, so for the purposes of this, I'm just in Mixbus because it's just easier to bring that up than anything else, all right? Now, this keyboard's now been on here for 30 seconds. In theory, this is when the other one has it's immediately stopped working about after 30 seconds of reconnecting. So, what's it done? It's, it's still responding. All right. Do we have zoom in function? No, we don't. We have that, but we have no. We have no zoom in, no caps lock, no num lock. Okay. Well, that confirms it. The keyboard's the issue. It sometimes responds. It responds there, but won't respond to anything else. All right, we'll do a restart on the PC and uh, we'll see if it responds to, uh, to rebooting Windows. All right, let's see if it responds to rebooting Windows. It may, it may not. <laughs> We'll soon find out. It's posting. That's a good thing. You remember this is an M SATA drive, not a M.2, so it is only running, it is only running in SATA 3 speed, so it does take 75 billion hours to do anything. Yeah. No. Well, that's confirmed. I need to try and build one keyboard from two. All right. Let's head over to the keyboards and see what we can sort out. All right, first thing I want to do is get the battery out of it. And then, screw, I just need one battery out of it at the moment. Get the screws out of it as well. It may just be the fact that there's a key that's, you know, maybe a bit stuck down. We just need to get some crud out of it. Um, I did try the other um, keyboard and it doesn't respond, period. So, we'll pull all these apart and see if we can't repair it. Because the, the, one of the big issues is with this keyboard, as I've said in the past, is that I have um, I have it configured for Mixbus 32C. So all the keyboard shortcuts that I have in 32C are um, oh no, well, well, there is one in there. What can I get down into it? Because my screwdriver is not long enough. <laughs> oh, bugger. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's get the extender cap off it without breaking it. All the wrist rest. Right. Uh, I have to go and find my other screwdriver because this one's just. No, no, it's the, it's the bit that's the issue. Let me go find my other screwdriver and I'll be back. All right, new screwdriver. Oh, God. That one's a long, long way down. What's happened here? Hmm. Well, that's a problem. I need another very thin <laughs> screwdriver. 
Uh, uh -huh. I've got one of my jewels to screw all this. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, it's out. Okay. All right. Can we get this apart without breaking it again? All the screws should be. Oh no, I've missed one. Oops. There's another one right there. Alright. Now can we get it out? That bro oh god, I missed another one. Ah. Old mate needs more coffee. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, without breaking everything, let's get the membrane up. Oh no! Dropped all the screws. Sent the membrane flying. It's now not even sitting properly. Oh, there it goes. Oh, dropping screws everywhere here today, guys. Mm. Dropping screws. All right. Now, I'll find all these screws in a moment. Alright, so let's pick that up for a minute. Put that there. Okay. I think she's a bit dirty. But the keys are stuck. There's a few stuck keys with this. Actually, there's a lot of stuck keys. There's one. Look at that. Oh, I just lost the rubber. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hell. Um, crikey, Moses. Uh, that's... Oh, crud. Where's that go? There? No. No. Oh, dear. That's... That's a worry. I don't actually know where that rubber came out of. Um, there? No. Oh dear. Uh, oh no crud. Crud, 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 crud. I don't know where that rubber, I don't know where this rubber's come out of. Um, that's a problem. That's a very, very big, big problem. Okay, so. Uh, is it out of that? Does that look right? Nope. Oh dear. Um. Um, 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 um. I think it might be. Out of there, no. Uh, no, that's not it. Um, okay, I'll have to. I'll have to look into that later. All right. Well, let me. Uh, let me try and figure out what we're going to do here, because this is a a fine mess. <laughs> a very very fine mess. We are in. It's actually a very ugly mess when you think about it. So let me put that. I might have to use the other, the dead keyboard as a um, template for where those two rubber things go. All right, so we do have some keys that are stuck. That's clear and evident. So they're not retracting properly. It's fairly dirty. All we might do is I'll go and grab the air compressor and uh, I'll just hit this with the air compressor. And then uh, what we'll do from the hello, look at this. I'll, I'll zoom in and show you that. that. That's stuck in there for some reason. So what I'll do 
So I'll go and get the air compressor, I'll blow all these out and then we'll see how freely they move. That might be the best plan of attack. So let me go do that and we'll be back. Alright, well there was a fair bit of uh, crud that came out of the faceplate. Some of them are still a little sticky but not as bad as what they were. Except I do have a couple that are a little stuck. Like, oh, that's not a key there. <laughs> There's a couple that are a bit sticky, but it's a lot. It's a lot better than it was. So now, because old mate's a complete idiot, I've got to pull off these two rubber things. I've got to pull my old keyboard apart to try and figure out where those two um, I've just lost them again oh there they are where these go so uh, it's always fun isn't it this keyboard does not work period it is absolutely cactus and uh, there's no point me, I, I could probably salvage the membrane, um, I think the membrane's alright, but the circuit board in this keyboard is absolutely Wallaby Ted's brother, and I mean that in the nicest possible way, it is absolutely Wallaby Ted's brother, so I'm like, well... There is no point me um, trying to figure out what's going on with this keyboard when I mean I guess the problem might be also is the fact that if the this is stuff there's a possibility the membranes had it as well. done that one up a bit tight. And I'll try this one. Oh geez I have to. Hang on. Can I actually get down into that one? Oh, I can't. Um you must get the feeling these are different bloody keyboards. They're both 1.1s, but they're different for some reason. Alright, hang on. I found another screwdriver. Alright. So what I need to do is figure out where those rubber... What's his name's come from? Why won't you undo? I forget what no that's that one all the screws are out and if I've lost any screws I now have spare screws <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all out why won't you come up what's going on here that's out that's out they're all out. Oh, there we go. Alright. Um. Oh, there it all goes. <laughs> I'm trying to see, without blowing everything away. Okay, so I am missing. Three rubbery bits by the looks of it. I have to find the third rubber. Well, probably not because it's, I've got a spare one here that I can use. So, 
So, um, I'm looking for uh, that one. right for me so that I get this right because if I get this wrong I'm in all sorts of uh, garbage shall we say all right so that one goes over here all right I got that one right I think does it yep one the cutout goes over here, like so. Or it should. And then I need to grab one, which would be the middle one, unfortunately. I can pick it up without breaking it. Which is this one here. The upside to having spares of things. Okay. Well, that worked. Re oh, well, I found the other one, but whatever. Okay. Now, what I want to do, while we're still on this working keyboard of mine, or at least somewhat working keyboard of mine, is gently, very gently, gently, gently swing it around. I know that I need to remap this cable so that it doesn't get caught anywhere. Actually, that goes on the inside, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. That all goes on the inside. What I don't want to do is break this if I can uh, avoid breaking it. Oh, it doesn't go on that side because there's its clip. Okay, so we'll get these in their rightful clips. Like so. If you guys can't actually see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to get this into its clips so that it, uh, it doesn't uh, break on me but I don't think that's right either um, no it doesn't matter it'll be alright oh, no that's not right that's still <laughs> uh, it should be right. Oh, hang on. I can put it into that, can't I? And then, oh, yeah, okay. I'll see what I did wrong. Uh, wake up, old mate. You stuffed up. I normally wouldn't do this with my own equipment because, well, it's my equipment. And if it breaks, I'll just fix it. If it was someone else's equipment, I'd probably go out of my way to make it work. Properly. Alright. Now then, let's get our main. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to get that battery out of there if I can, somehow. I'm just going to move that. Oh, move that like that. Push that back onto there. Maybe it's. Oh, uh, whoops. Oh, <laughs> now, I don't want it popping out on the inside of the, uh, of the keyboard. Okay, so that should just now slide beautifully back on. Which it... Sounds better. 
Oh, there's something stuck in there. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is stuck in there? Oh, dearie me. Um, it sounds like there's a screw stuck in there, doesn't there? Okay, let's try this again. Try and get it to fit on. Are you too good for your home? Um, screw this down and make sure it actually ends up um, connecting. I hate to lose this keyboard. <laughs> Found the right tool for the job too, by the way. Got the right screwdriver this time, so that's always good. <laughs> Alrighty. Oop, dropped him. Well, I can't play for Australia. I've dropped him at square leg. It'd be bad, wouldn't it? Putting down a catch at square leg. I mean, go. do have a problem. We do have a very, very big problem. Okay, alright. So it's not lining up like it should. Okay, so something's gotten caught somewhere. We shall figure this out. Good thing I haven't put all the screws back in. That could get uh, rather ugly. thing and lost all the rubbers again damn it ah I see all right that makes a bit more sense okay so the membrane is not sitting properly there we go all right let's get the that in properly where it should sit Oy vey. okay let's try this again so it got caught on something but I don't ah I see what it got caught on it's all right it got caught on a wire here what I've got stuck on and at this end as well okay all right well let's try it again oh no ah that's not good that's not good um, it's that one get it in the right locating pin Oh, I missed it. Hang on. Did I? Oh, no, that's right. And then these two. Are you too good for your home? Membrane looks a little dirty, doesn't it? All right, try this again. do have some stuck keys. Ah, okay. We do have some stuck keys. 
Oh dear. Um, there's actually something stuck in there. It's like a screw. There is actually, it's like a screw stuck in there. What the hell? How did a screw get stuck in the keyboard? Oh, it just came out. Alright. That's still not sitting right. What the, the hell's going on here? Are you too good for your damn home? What the? What is going on? Oh, I see. Okay, hang on was stuck on that wire. Put that wire around there. Now it should lock on. There we go. That's better. Alright. Got it this time. <laughs> A little bit of keyboard repair for a Tuesday here at Old Mates. Nothing's more fun, really, is it? All right, well, what I'll do, let's get this back together. And uh, we'll head back to the main PC. And we'll, I'll just screw this back together. And I mean, hopefully the camera battery lasts. Because I'll drop another screw. Technically, I don't even have to do this properly because this is my stuff. We know old mate doesn't really worry about his own stuff. I'm more worried about making sure other people's stuff is always working. And my stuff is always falling apart. But What do they say about a builder? A builder's house is never finished and a sparky's house, the electrical, never works. I think that's the old saying, isn't it? Yeah, a builder's house is never finished, a sparky's house is never, you know, or an old mate's case, everyone else's stuff always works, old mate's stuff is always falling apart. That's basically because of my, as my father instilled to me, you always put other people's stuff ahead of yours, and if yours doesn't work, as long as theirs works, it's fine. Always put more effort into other people's stuff and make sure they're happy before you make yourself happy. Well, that is exactly what I do these days. I'm always making sure other people's stuff is in good working order and my stuff is often falling apart. It's fine. It's like at the church, you know, I, I want to try and get rid of all the noise and the systems of the church, but here at home, I'm not really worried. <laughs> uh, all right, last screw, and we're back together. All right, well, let's head back over to the main PC and see what this thing does. All right, well, I've reconnected the keyboard and uh, put the appropriate background up too. I forgot to mention it's server PC stuff rather than anything else, even though it's a troubleshooting video, but I don't have a troubleshooting background. All right, so do we have start? We have start. Do we have control? 
We have control. Okay. Do we have all our letters? No, we do not. Oh, yeah, we do. Ah. So that one, that one works. Backspace now works. That's good. Do we have caps lock? Keys. So that's the I key, which is sticky. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, they're a little sticky. Uh, okay. So, do we have shift home? Do we have delete? Yes, we do. That's good. Do we have numlock? Now, my numlock is on. Yep, we do have numlock. At least most of numlock. Yep. Okay, we have Alt F4. Where is my F4? There it is. Don't save. Ow. All right. I think I fixed it. I think it was just full of crud and dust and junk from here at the desk. Obviously, I mean, you've got to remember, this keyboard gets a hiding, not just in Mixbus 32C, but with DaVinci and emails and... YouTube and Firefox and everything. It gets used a lot every single day of the week. So it probably was a twofold problem. But at least now it works. And I have my preferred Microsoft 1.1 wireless keyboard back up and running. The, the big problem I've got, and I know this sounds wacky to people, but this keyboard is configured for shortcuts with Mixbus 32C. So, you know, I don't really want to have to waste time redoing all the shortcuts and everything because keyboards are different i would rather just be able to use this keyboard and and you know know that i can continue using it because i do like it right it is a great keyboard and even if people do have a go at me about the fact that it's microsoft anyway there we go i forgot to put the server pc stuff background up so someone will have howled on me for that undoubtedly that is, uh, well, that's the end of this video. At least now it works. Stick around later on today, uh, primarily when the other half goes to work, we're going to set up that printer of hers so that tonight when she gets home, she can finalise everything that she has to finalise to go to her training centre, or the, the institute where she's doing this extra training through and hand in her fairly large project. I've got to be honest with you, she's done that much writing because... It's writing, computer work, and project work. So hopefully she gets it finished soon and uh, we can move on from there. Anyway, I'll catch you later on today. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.